Ravi and Judy, the damage in this Plainfield subdivision on the border of Kendall and Will counties is sporadic, but certainly enough to raise eyebrows. Check it out. That storm powerful enough to not only damage this home's fence right here, it also completely knocked down one side of it as well. All you can see that's left standing right there is a single pillar. That storm tossed yard furniture like it was nothing, even uprooted a large pine tree. And new tonight, home surveillance video showing the moments that storm rolled through. It felt like 80 mile an hour winds came through the driveway. Those frightening and uncertain moments captured on a home security camera in Will County. I was wondering if a tornado was coming, really. Kevin Shelton lives next door to the neighbors who shared this video with us and says he was outside when the storm moved through. A lot of uh, debris and garbage can lids, uh, chairs, the roof off my playhouse um, broke down the fence. In neighboring Kendall County, a bushy pine tree uprooted and toppled over. It happened within a matter of seconds. It just, it, I saw it and it was gone. Basketball hoops thrown from one home to the next. And I was just like scared. I didn't know what to do. And whole fences ripped from the ground. These fen the fence here was in the street. My furniture was in the street. Neighbors in Plainfield's Kendall Ridge subdivision described the trail of damage and debris left behind after the storm. I just looked out the window and I just saw it coming right down the street. It was it was nuts. I've never seen anything like it. Tracy Dupuy was assessing damage in her neighborhood and says she saw debris swirling around, including her own patio furniture. And my fence, you can see it's all down, but um, my furniture levitated off the ground and I started running through the kitchen to get away from the windows. And Ravi and Judy, we are still waiting for the National Weather Service to confirm the strength of these two tornadoes as residents here in Plainfield say they're just grateful no one was hurt. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.